when you get out deep enough in the woods you can start pulling these things and uh, there's a nectar and mosquito those mosquitoes are pretty aggressive but you could just just pull it and then yeah it tastes a little nectar so none of those none of those harvesting bugs got to this one it's just on the end that you got um, Hmm. Maybe you can use your mouth and just chew on the whole thing. I don't know. There could be some bugs in there though. The last one I had was uh, infested. They make teas out of these things, so they're perfectly edible. Yeah, I taste a little nectar in that. The leaves are edible, the flowers edible. It's It's called the clover. And it really um, works hard to, to thrive and multiply. It doesn't really try to fight off um, predators or anybody. Its, it's main uh, purpose is, is to grow as fast as it can. And that's, that's its defense, is growing as fast as it can and multiplying as much as it can. If you have too much of this, it'll kill your sex drive. It kills it's been documented that it kills cow sex drives and manipulates their hormones. And that's the same for humans. Humans will get affected in the same way. This will uh, have this will pack a powerful estrogenic punch. And that's how it does it. Mm. Yeah, you can taste that nectar. And bees like to harvest this stuff too. Clover honey, it's a popular one. But I'm I'm doing the function of the bee, although I'm not as efficient as they are because I gotta destroy the whole thing just to just to get at the nectar and like a bee you know it's, this doesn't what I'm doing isn't uh, helping it um, thrive and multiply you know I think I might see marshmallow down there but I can't identify it well enough I think marshmallow grows around here, but I'm not too familiar with the Washington wildlife and vegetation as I am with Wisconsin. There are a lot of similarities like with this. You just sit and eat. Just You can swallow it, you can just taste the nectar and spit it out. It's mild. And I'll tell you what, if you can't naturally appreciate this nectar, then you have a problem consuming too much high fructose corn syrup, okay? Because high fructose corn syrup will up your tolerance. It'll mess with your tolerance and make simple sugar, sugars like this, um, like not even a value to you. It's it's something you want to be concerned about if you're if you're having difficulties with your with your health. Oh, see, there's a there's a little competitor right there. I'm gonna say hi to the camera. Am I even getting it? Little little bumblebee there. I don't even know if I got it. Cause I can't see it. There. The bumblebee. So I don't want to take too much from its work. I'll just grab this only. <clears throat> Bumblebees are important for the ecology, right? Although they don't really produce the honey like that I need. It's more about the honey bee. Ugh. But yeah, if you see a clover, it's you gotta make sure you're over a hundred yards away from a trail, which I'm not. Make sure you're a good distance from a, a trail so you don't get poisoned by pollution.